What is up, F boys of the world? Welcome to Scorpio Base, the best place. Yeah, it's today, 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 today. Fuck, today, mate. <laughs> That's so stupid, mate. Today, today we're gonna talk about why you deserve versus why you actually think you deserve. And <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna put probably an astrological twist because this channel is about zodiac signs. Let's get started. Okay, so I was pondering the other day about deserving things, deserving people, or deserving outcomes in general. Because I'm always analyzing zodiac signs and astrology and all this shit. I thought, all right, what could be the relationship between your outcomes, independent outcomes versus your actual desires of what do you think you deserve and the whole universe in general specifically gears towards your side so I found that well, at least in my mind I found that it's, it's a fine line guys it's a fine line between wanting to deserve and actually serving. Let me explain. When you think you deserve something, either good or bad, it doesn't mean that you deserve it, you, that you actually merit it. And this is what troubles a lot of people because, like I say, either good or bad, this might pose a mental barrier to many because say you think you deserve some lollipop right okay do you really deserve the lollipop or not that's a question for you right you might think yeah i'm a good girl i deserve the lollipop right okay cool that's what you think because it's very subjective. What is in your mind that you think you deserve? It doesn't really exist out there in the external world. At a full degree. Pay attention. Why? Because it's your mere subjective perception. You think you've been good. Okay. You think you've been bad? Okay. That's how your brain registers, right? Like in your moral compass. And then you might not get a lollipop, right? You might get a big piece of dirt <laughs> or charcoal, like bad boys in Christmas. Does it mean that it's all the time like that? No, not at all, but thinking of wanting to deserve something that you're entitled to it it can come from attitude too from past experiences from past performance and the thing is life moves on quick the thing is you move to another city or you work switch places to work at you change relationships we don't stay the same. Uh, that, that's conflicting because according to past performance, past experience that you think uh, you also you want to deserve what you want to deserve. Like I say, good or bad. Okay, so for example, what if, if you think about the past and say, yeah, yeah, you know what? My next relationship though, is gonna be fucking better. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be not a feisty live, it's gonna be a nice, chill. Pisces, for example. Or I bet. What if life throws you a Gemini? Because life is testing you, right? It's possible. Anything is possible. So you might run into disappointment and say, oh, life throw me a Gemini. Fuck me. Why 
why I don't get what I deserve. Maybe that's what you deserve. You guys that are watching, think, think deeply, deeply about your actions in life. You might find that you let go a lot of good fucking opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it's hard, it's hard to swallow, right? That one is a hard to swallow because you might turn a blind eye and say, oh, I don't know. You know what? I'm on my way out. Sure. That comes with challenges because maybe you let go some really good shit in order for what? To advance to the next level and that means sacrifices that means that you let go really good stuff and now life is gonna throw you some challenges and be like you know what let's see what's up let's see you really deserve what you really have in mind because there's an explanation for everything like if if you let go something good in the past that was screaming this is a good path this is a good path and you let go, you might have fucked up. But you never know, because maybe something better awaits for you or not. That depends on you. So that that's that's a big dilemma there, right there. Kiss is pets, right? If I offer you some good stable soul to accompany you in this life, you could have taken it. Well, you were tempted and more ambitious. So at what point your ambitious dreams are like too much? I don't know. It's not for me to judge. It's for you to realize, to analyze. So you let go a lot of that and you think you want to deserve what you want to deserve. And you got to put the hard work To see yourself upgraded to the next version of you that is way better in all in all ways. Maybe think, what would have happened if you had gone with that opportunity that life presented you before? You deserve it, but where would it have been right now? Maybe in a good place. So instead, recapping, deserving what you want to be deserved. It's a tough one. So for instance, and let me continue on that. I believe firmly that sometimes it's about to let it flow. Because I've seen it, I've seen it countless times with people that I work with. The moment they just let it be, the good shit comes. I'm presented in ways that they are like, wait, the wrap of the gift looks fucking odd. Well, let me open it. Surprise, motherfuckers. Exactly. So you're like, okay, okay, not bad. But that's part of the thing. You gotta let go of that mental imagery that, oh, I deserve this. That person, exactly. Or that car, or that work, or that job or that mansion or that hustle you can really keep pushing it you gonna get something to the next level but you gotta let it flow because the characterization of what you think you deserve might take shape in human form or material stuff and don't let that deceive you and I'm gonna apply that to zodiac signs, right? So for Leos, for example, there, they can be very materialistic. <laughs> they, think they, <laughs> they think the grass is always green on the other side, but it ain't it, it ain't it, it ain't it. I've seen it with a couple Leos and they told me what the life bite me back in my fucking ass. I had a good chance with X or Y and I say, no regret, you could have done really good with the other person. But you choose not to because you're fucking dumb, bro, man. You couldn't see, you couldn't, 
you couldn't see things as they were, as the blessings that they were that life sent you, but and now you end up with a karmic relationship where he treats you how you treat the other person, the good person that came to your life. So his lessons, uh, then do you serve that perhaps? Would you, would you have been able, would you have been able to avoid that lesson? Perhaps if you repented internally and apologized to the previous person, see how it works? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I know. So that being said, it's like, those obsessive wants and desires, they can turn nasty. Like I say, the gift that is wrapped, probably is wrapped better than, oh shit, hell yeah, here it is. Turns out it's a piece of dirt inside. So it's, it's a tough call, it's a tough cookie, right? So, and someone's gonna eat that. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna eat dust. Shoot the dust, swallow the dust. Absolutely. Someone out there has to do it. And, say, and sometimes in life, those that set an example out of someone, you know, because that person might go tell the whole family, the whole block about it, and they're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh, that's unfortunate, it happened to you, I'm sorry. And they spread the word, and maybe they save some people that are on the verge of doing something even more stupid, thinking that they deserve what they wanted, and it comes in like the devil devil wearing Prada, right? Like nice clothes, red, I guess. So you never know the deliverance of that shit. So look, I'll present you my lighter. Oh shit, not working. Okay. It's fucking awesome. I love this for candles. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. The main message that I have for all the zodiac signs today is that according to your zodiac temperature, maybe I'll make another video, is that your temper, pretty much. Analyze the situation and have some repentance and forgive and apologize to people that they presented you with a good, solid one. You know who they are. So, hey, you're a Leo, you're hot tempered. I'm saying Aries, hot tempered, Pisces, chill, and so on the scale of temperature, right? That's it for now, guys. Hope you like it. We'll talk soon.